Now that things have slowed down just a tad, Kiri and I have finally had the chance to have the old conversation and uh, get to know each other just a little better. Let's just say after the madness of what happened at the complex and our subsequent escape to Far Harbor, things have been a little bit manic. I've told her about what happened with Frank and Frank Town and, and then Ron Town, the complex, all the uh, less than honorable things that I've done in my past. Oddly enough, she doesn't seem too bothered. Furthermore, if anything, she's got a far more interesting story to tell. Turns out she wasn't always as, as human looking as she looks right now. In fact, her consciousness was once stored in that of the chassis of a Miss Nanny Bot. And what we see before us now is actually a synth. Now don't get me wrong, I'd heard of rumours about the Institute and the synths and all that. And I'd heard that Farber was somewhat of a, uh, of a recluse for synths. But I'd never actually met one confirmed and real in the flesh. The idea of moving one's mental faculties, memories, abilities, from one shell to another. That's one of the most insane ideas I think I've ever heard. Humans, greetings and salutations to you all. Welcome back to Ron's Retreat here with our good buddy, of course, Ron the Sick and Depressed. I suppose I don't know, I don't have an official title for him right at this point in time, but here we are, we're back, we're doing stuff here at the retreat. It's gonna be fun, I can promise and guarantee that, y'all. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, here we go. Episode 3, I've had your feedbacks and your thoughts from the previous two episodes, which is really good. Initially, though, I will admit this off the at the front, the, the front gate as it was, I don't know the saying for it. But look, this is my second attempt of recording this episode. I did this in real world time, I did this about 24 hours ago. And, upon reflection, it basically turned out like hot trash. I spent the majority of the episode wire, running wires from the power station to the house. It was riveting. It was real, real look, the commentary was probably still good, but... Uh, I think I was a little out of it, and look, it just didn't go quite well. So, we're going to do a little bit of, a, I suppose, a recap episode, and then work on some actual stuff that's interesting, hopefully. Uh, time permitting, because there's a few things to show you. It's been mostly busy work, but, yeah, we'll, we'll take you on a little tour, nonetheless. Uh, another thing I forgot to do, which I'm going to do now that I'm reduxing this episode as it was, as put this idea out in your worlds, in your lives. And if you've watched Ricardo the Roleplay Gamers episode, uh, episode 2 of his, I think, you will have already seen this suggestion, but someone from his comments made the suggestion of doing a Q&A video, but not your regular kind of Q&A video, not asking, look, not asking us questions per se. I actually wouldn't mind doing a Q&A where I'm asked the questions, and whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> it wouldn't actually bother me so much. Uh, but the idea, sorry, I just have to go to another screen right now. Is that all fine? Yeah, cool. Um, the idea is that you, you all, you, you kind viewers would actually ask Ron and Frank and the and the Raider King questions <laughs> for a and A. How cool is that idea? So if you have questions for Ron specifically, put them down in the comment section below, and I'll do my bloody best to answer them as though I was Ron. All right, you what? I am Ron though. You see, you see what I'm getting at? That's where the saucy matter comes from. All right, we're gonna switch this back on. Did I do it right? Yes. Get back into normal vision, and get back into normal vision. So that'll be really cool. If you have a question for me specifically, that's cool too. I'll work with it. It'll be fine. And I won't answer it in the wrong q and I'll do a separate Q&A for myself. If that makes sense. Okay, now I'll show you all the things that I've done. And while we're up here, this is the first thing that we'll talk about. Now, you'll remember that this half of the house looks an awful lot like this half of the house up here. All broken and dilapidated and weather-worn. Now, I've manually rebuilt this, and I did this off-camera because it was really, really fidgety uh, to use the custom barn, sorry, the pre-built barn stuff to match it up roughly to the pre-built settlement barn. It was a real hassle. Uh, it's not quite the right size, and as I've now learnt, uh, the settlement building blocks don't snap to any pre-existing structures in the settlement. I ran straight through here, god dang it. This is a nice dry corner, though. Yeah, real good. I should probably make this 100% sealed in if I can. Uh, I probably will. Anyway, but it looks really nice. It turned out pretty good in the end. This 
The width of the normal barn pieces didn't quite match the width of this existing barn, so I had to really finagle this. I mean, technically, this is a... See, you can see this little gap here that you can't otherwise really see. That's to match with this central uh, post, this beam, whatever this is, this vertical beam. Then everything else snapped relatively nice, and we've got this nice little nook. Now, as you can see as well, we've got the cigarette roller up here, and we've got the pipe pipe. Ron, look, as sick as Ron is, he's not giving up smoking, let's be fair and real. And that's my light, of course. Like I said, I, the majority of last episode I spent doing this wiring, which is, ended up being thoroughly not entertaining, I think, for y'all. So, I'm redoing this, and we're just going to look at some of what we did. Oh yeah, I repa repaired the floors as well, you saw up there, there was a hole here that I repaired. Uh, I think those are the main ones. Oh, yeah, just look things up. So we've got a light, a very floaty light that I need to fix very urgently. Pool table? Look. Calm down, Kiri. Bada boom! Yes. Alright, so we're up to 58 happiness and 4 settlers. I'm jonesing for more. No more have showed up just yet, but it's still fairly early days. I think in game time we haven't been here for too long so we're still waiting on some new dudes to rock up uh, i'm really keen on that because i've got real big plans and look if no one turns up in the meantime while we're recording right now uh we will just do some planning of that sort of variety anyway there we go that's better i think it's clipping a little bit through the roof but that looks way better than it did before as long as it's not popping out the other side which is not that's fine so I set this up as a little recreation floor, as you can see, got a pool table in here, got a nice neon light over the top of it, and a pool cue, which is of course a weapon in the game. Yes, yes, real nice. I'll get another pool cue, I'll find some balls as well to chuck on the table. It'll look really funny and cool. And yeah, so most of my, 90% of what I did off camera uh, was cleaning up the floors in here and outside. So this is mostly free of debris. I got rid of some of the shelves and stuff, but left some as well because it gives the, the place some character or whatever have you. See, this part here, this shelf is all good and nice still. And then there's these shelves here that I left intact. This I mostly left intact and pulled out some stuff as well. Look, here's more, here's more of that pesky Debris that I haven't um, gone and destroyed. Get out of my life. Left this. I should put a real toilet if I can. That's, that's all staying, that's cool and fine. Then we come down to the bottom floor and we've got this nice open space now. Got my chem station here to make the ASM sensors and all the stuff that we need uh, for Sim Settlements, which is the main add-on, of course. 61 happiness now. Look at us. We're killing it, bro. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Very good. Very saucy. I had another thing. Look at this weather, though. Holy smokes. Dang, bro. So we put an actual Jenny in here because it was too hard to bring it in from the other, from the outside places. Oh, poo. What did I have to say? I really don't remember. It's fine. I put doors on the place. That's a cool thing. Great job, Kluger. <laughs> yeah, 8 out of 8. Alright, cool. Now we'll come out here. These are all the same as they were. Farms. We've got a fourth farm now with our fourth settler here. Uh, Mia is her name. I wanted to assign her to our first shop, but we don't quite have enough settlers for that just yet. Which is a little bit of a bummer -oo. So yeah, that's coming out. It's coming along real nice. I'm quite, I'm quite pleased and chuffed about that. It's really tasty and good. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. While I was talking about the Sim Settlements mod, uh, just as of today, real world time, and I'll try to leave a link in the description box down below, but King Gath launched SimSettlements.com, your one-stop shop for all the things all about the tastiness in the realms of Sim Settlements. It's well worth popping in there. I've been active on the forum that he's got running, um, but now he's going to use that to collect bug reports, to post a wiki all about Sim Settlements. There's a lot of really, really great stuff. So, look. I urge you to go and visit it. It's the least I could do for someone who's built such a dank mod. Alright? Good. Next. <laughs> so, we'll go and visit. I'm, you know what? I'm going to be a guy. I'm going to turn my light on. It's probably not going to make a huge difference, but since we're in this crappy weather, probably perpetually, uh, we will have that going. And what I'm going to do... Whoops. Power. I'm going to slap more generators in here because I'm thinking what we might end up doing today... Uh, is place prematurely placing down plots, which will require power. Um, so I just want to make this so like it's it's a functional power station, basically. You know what I'm saying? So look, we could fit four. Look, we could fit five. Just get 50, 50 million power up in this joint. Are they clip? No, they're all good. That's some real dank sauce going on right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Now, can they, do you reckon they could all, is this going to look ugly though? 
Not so bad. That central right look, that's not reaching though, is it? I Yeah, it's not gonna reach. <laughs> it's fine. Look. Um 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 we're gonna do a connector and switch. Meta. I know you'll love that word real real, real good and nice. Is surface snap on? Sure is. It's just not recognizing this as a surface. It's just classic. We're gonna have to just do ghetto ghetto connections. It's not floating, it looks fine. Wait, that's barely any closer. What are you thinking, Low Kluger? <sighs> Look. Just don't. <laughs> what about this? Are you a real surface? Of course you're not. You piece of shit. Look, we'll do it this way, though. And uh, we'll go one of these babies. One of these janglers. Where are we going to connect it, though? What, what even makes sense in this world? This crazy place we call planet Earth. Is that a floater? No, 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 that's pretty good. Okay. And then... By the way, one mod I haven't really talked about explicitly is Dynavision RN. Dynavision is hot! So we're getting a, just a little... Look, is this, is this chain in the way? Yes, it was. It was a stupid dank chain. Um, which is giving us the real nice, subtle, saucy depth of field that we've been seeing. Look, if I focus right here... Watch. Wait for it. Listen. There we go. See how the, the, we're just getting a little bit of saucy depth of field back there? It's that little bit of cinematic even in our plain day-to-day -day banality work. It's real nice. Alright. You know, I'm just going to leave it like that. I can't be bothered rewiring the existing Jenny. So then this... Look. It looks kind of gross and chaotic. I kind of like it. Why is there only... And that makes sense too. There one there. Good. See, I get too consumed by the wiring. It's very bad. Okay, we've got plenty of power to work with today. Might move this over just a scooch. Cool. So I spent a little time hanging around here. Oh, I think it was... Was it Dave? Was it you, Dave Kwashnik, that said leave this in here because it looks like a roleplay thing? I'm okay with it. I'm going to leave it there in place. It's great. So I cleaned this area up a little bit. Made it look real nice. Put our spread. Put our first commercial property down, which we can't yet um, place. Oh, sorry, we can't yet uh, habitate, inhabit, I guess you would say, because, whoops, because we don't have enough settlers just yet, I believe. Look, I'm going to check my um, holotape real quick. Uh, inventory. Uh, it's in mix. <coughs> oh, excuse me, where'd that come from? While he's doing the loading, I'm going to get a drink. Uh, we want to go to configure zoning laws. Uh, commercial requirement homes, or you can change it to population, which is really potato potato for us right now. We got four of each, so I can't assign anyone to that just yet. But what we'll do, it, it actually worked out really, really well. This this snap lined up real saucy and dank like. So then we can just go. Ah, uh, ba bum bum bum. I'm loving it. Like a salt. Look how that just it just marries up so so beautifully. Now we can even go store you, get this finagler. Wait, I put the wrong thing down, didn't I? This is residential plot. <laughs> Look, lucky I noticed now. We want commercial. Listen, I noticed because of the different power pylon. Luke is an observant man. Then the lot out. And then you give it a bit of that. And look at this little place! And look at it, it's perfect! Look where it ends, right there! Oh, my lanta! Look, I don't want to brag, but that's dank! It's just, it fits, it's just perfect! Listen, I'm better at the game than you. <laughs> and then we can put more commercial up here for show. I, oh, not for show, I won't go that far, but maybe we can like sc scooch one in maybe here or here. So it doesn't take up too much space. And then we can put some industrial in this corner too, because it matches with the whole power plan that we got going on. So maybe some industrial just here. Look, Bramble. Or some industrial just over here, without impeding too heavily on our way to the commercial district, right? What's the time in game time? 4.13, it's getting a little bit late. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, also, while we're talking about Dave, he talked about the shipbreaker signal, which is now gone, as you can see. He was very, very concerned about our defense. And the fact that 
uh, we could get attacked by this big monster called Chipbreaker. So look, I just I settled his hash. Make no mistake, he's toast now. He's gone. He's dead, uh, and that's all fine. It's all great. It's fine. It's fine. Yep, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. As you know, I haven't fully handed in the quest yet because that stupid idiot old old Longfellow is all just like, oh, I'm gonna take it to Arcadia, and I can't be bothered doing the full quest for that just yet. So I haven't. I have to do that first off camera, which I'll get to. It's fine. Uh, we will work on that though. Now, listen. Yeah, you know, first things first though. We have to do something because it's getting dark, and I don't want to sleep right now. Which kind of lights do we want here? I feel like this is the kind of place where you'd have some nice, cool, saucy lights. This is kind of starting to feel like a boardwalk, but the base of those is just so huge. These are the least kind of intrusive, I suppose. But I feel like for a pier, you would have something like this. Wouldn't you? It feels kind of cool. I do want one of the overhangy ones, though. I think our best solution would probably be this, because the base isn't too gross. Unless, we'll check SOE. Dude, the thunder though! Ha <laughs> ha! There's a bit of discussion in the, in the, um, in the comments for the, uh, weather, because there's some mods that can make it less gross. Um, but I'm actually quite okay with it. This oil lamp has idle wind moving animation. Listen. We're putting that somewhere. Oh my gosh, that is hot as hell. Floor, let's see, floor lights, it's probably just going to be all the floodlights and stuff, right? Yeah, nothing too dank to write home about. That's cool, that's cool, we'll work with this. This this is a close second, because it's, it's not too big and gross. So you will notice the pier is gone, the, the OG pier that is. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's got a feeling. We'll get it as close as we can to this. Right. Good. Yes. Okay. And we probably have another one in this corner. You know? Look, this is meant to be a kind of a nice place. You know what I'm saying? I'm completely ignoring the fact that I, I built this pier from scratch off camera. Uh, and, you know, we're just getting on with our lives, but it's fine. Yeah, that looks cool. That, that's got feels. Right? How's it going for placement, though? It's a bit... It's a bit shit. <laughs> TB honest. Okay, there we go. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get out of this mode. Dude, it's just... It's just so nice. We can... You know, at this point in time... Can we get rid of... Can we just dump this trash? Or maybe we can just move it down there. Because you're gonna get... You're getting power. You don't need to be connected to that. You need this, though. Look. Just... Just do your thing over in that corner, f for right now. Seriously. <laughs> ah, much better. I feel like I can think properly now. Look, it's a bit crooked though. Come on, baby. Well, that's better at least. Yeah, so I completely built this. Uh, it just wasn't working out, if I'm being honest. They're trying to connect it to the, to the pre-existing pier with the problem we were having in this corner. It just wasn't being nice, so I just killed the whole thing. Uh, but by the way, I know look, in the comments of episode 2, some of y'all weren't too pleased with the amount of finagling and fidgeting we were doing here. I apologize, um, just from my perspective, just for me as a human being, it was driving me nuts that this wasn't working. I just really, really wanted to fix it, but I think we came up with a decent solution. Now, as, a, as, as it turns out, make no mistake, I didn't have the right mod installed. I was looking for a different PC Doug mod. Uh, called something to the effect of um, pretty triangles or something like that. And it's essentially similar to the plot wedges, but they're just sort of for the default um, uh, the default flaws that you find in the settlement building. There we go, Kluger has words. Now, in the meantime, I'm just going to go upstairs. I, I will sleep the night away. Hopefully, it'll prompt some more people to turn up. Oh, but look at that, though. That's some sauce. I might turn that to be straight, though. I don't like it on the 45. We'll fix that in the morning. So I'm going to hop upstairs. 
and we will look, I think that's the majority of what we've done. I'll, I'll show you the rest of the pier. It needs a bit more tweaking. Well, it needs more explanation than anything else, but we'll, we'll have a look at it just shortly. One momento. It's only 5.52 p.m. Man, it gets dark early here, freaking jeez. And lo and behold, it's raining. <laughs> it's fine. I love the rain. Actually, I don't mind it at all. I'm just being a, I'm being a guy that's on camera doing stupid things. So look at these nice stairs. It works really well. I kind of made it its own isolated structure. Because um, it felt a little bit kind of strange trying to connect it up to the sort of second tier that we have going on. That's pretty close. And, gee, I actually didn't mess this up that bad. Yeah, that, that, look, that feels much better. Okay, cool. Right, so yeah, it's its own isolated thing. It doesn't join up to this. It kind of has a nice match going on, but... Yeah, so you come out here and that's our own little pier. Bump, ba da bump. And then you've got a nice little chest so you can fish or, you know, contemplate your life <laughs> sitting here nice and chill-like. I've got to find a fishing pole to put here too. Maybe some lights. What lights would we even have along here? I feel like it might even be a chance for uh, some saucy little fairy lights or something. Or, you know, something like these puppies would look real cool. Would it even make sense to have them here though? I kind of feel like it would actually. You're not to be that guy. Six dollars in tax! In your face! Does, look, that's actually... Is that doing a snap job? I felt like it was. To the outside, not the inside. Of course, just because classic. But could we just cheat it? Cheat the system? That's actually not so bad. Will they snap to each other? Listen. Of course not. <laughs> Why would they? That would be smart. Look, I'm not mad. You know, something... We can get this. Does that even make sense to have there, though? Look, we're in the we're in the post-apocalypse. It doesn't need to make sense. And I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. And then... Because we got to get some wireless up in the subject. We just got to go a little... Uh, kind of... Could I be less conspicuous about it and just, like, dump a power post there? No, I don't know. That would be kind of dumb. <laughs> Put the... Yeah? I guess? You can't really see that it's there. Hey, it's not raining. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. Look, I can live with it. I want to put one more. Maybe one on the outside? It is doing a snap to something. It's trying. I don't know what. Look, we have to go look at that from the other side. That should be plenty of lights for there. 61 happiness. Where's more people? We need more people, bro. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that a lot. Awesome. Very good and nice. So, but this is our fourth house here as well, which has been built. I think it might be a stock one, maybe. I'm not really sure. But then I made this extra little adjoining bit. I haven't put the fences on it yet. I probably should have. Because we've got all the nice cool fences around there. I, already, I initially had some steel railing. It looks a bit shit. So I got rid of it. We're going all wood meta. Yes. I'll put the pile, the pylon standy things underneath there. Which comes from a mod as well. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's in the description down below. And I can put the same here. It feels really good. But this is just going to be like the connecting bit. We're going to put another couple houses out this way as well. That's for sure. And in fact, we could probably even, since we're in planning mode, just sort of thinking all this sauciness out, let's swing that out. And then, speciality, and this time we've got to go right down to the end. Swing that around, and look, it just knows. It knows it to be true. And then, of course, so that's going to there. So this will have to go to there. And then, we can probably just go from here, can't we? At least for now. And then that can go, and then we can just store that. Can we... F one more might fit. Might fit. <laughs> Do we even want to go? Look, just work with me. Does that fit? I want to put it there. And we're going to inspect the damage. Dude, that's so close. That is sufficiently close that I might leave it. 
Hmm. I'm doing it. Out of, if we're out of that mode. Because then we got this whole little commercial corner, you know? That just, that just creams my corn in all the right ways. Oh, jeez. Look, and then if we go... This is the planning I was talking about. This is actually interesting stuff. Will this make it look a little less shit? Kinda? I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's a little bit off angle because it doesn't quite match. Like, this isn't as set, like, specifically 90 degrees. But that might just be too good to pass up. The interconnectivity is just being real dank. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks. Now look, this probably doesn't need to be there anymore. Because you just go like a shoe. And then we go from yeah to yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it's the stupid crane. Guarantee you, bro. Come on. <laughs> can we be look, can we be real cheeky? This is so post-apocalypse. Watch this. I'm gonna meddle your brains. Listen. Did you see that coming? I bet you didn't. It's not. Ah oh, no. Listen. Look at Curie running around there like a chump. Look, don't call hacks. You know this is genius. Look, one day I will teach you the ways of the Force, but it is not this day. That might actually cause some clipping problems with the uh, structure once it's built, but we'll cross that bridge as we, we approach it. Yeah, that looks real cool! Oh, baby! Yes! Oh! <laughs> did I show you everything I did off camera? I think that was the main stuff, yeah. And then I ran this wiring over to here, uh, which we'll need to eventually get across to the front bit, and that's all going to be fine and great and good. Oh. It's looking like a thing. Look, I don't want to be that guy, but it's looking saucy. Bam, 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 bam. Can we call it now? We maybe could. I feel like we haven't quite done enough, though. Get out of my life, Bramble. One thing I wanted to think about is how we want to do this entrance way. So this is farm up to here. And then this area will probably just stay farming. As we need more, we can fit another roll of them kind of there. But this feels like a place. Because we've got the road here, right? So the obvious thing is to put a bunch of residential that just runs down this way. Maybe turns the corner here-ish at some stage, depending on how it works out. Because we don't want to block this door off, because this comes into like... I don't know what's going to be here. It's a kind of a community center kind of thing. Maybe we'll set it up as like a little meeting room sort of thing. Perhaps. Perhaps. Right? So then the first house would go... Something, and I know it'd be kind of cool to have like commercial on the entrance way, but we've got a we've got a place that just looks so good as a commercial district that we just we can't. This has to be the entrance way, you know. So where's the road go? It kind of points, and this is the road too. It kind of points down that way, but then it sort of bends in a weird. There's a road sort of here too. It's this tight, weird kind of angle. I don't know what to make of that. To be honest. And then there's not that much space on this side to do that. It's a little rough, mate. It's a little rough around the edges. And then there's heaps of space back there, though. I think this truck is going to need to go. <sighs> maybe, maybe not. I really like how it looks. So I don't want to delete it. <laughs> I don't want to have to delete it. But my arm could be, my arm could be turned. Twisted. Whatever. Look, fight me. So this would kind of go, maybe we'll put it on the road a little bit just to preserve some space behind it. I'm putting it kind of high because of the stupid brambles underneath. If we put it something like that. So that's running down the road pretty nice. We can maybe just angle it a little better, maybe scooch it in a bit more. How are we looking for space back here? Farm is still accessible. 
Yeah, but it's a little tight. Listen, though. I'm happy with the same model, but just down a fraction. So that's got clearance. You can kind of scooch in here if you want to. And then we've still got space for what should be plenty of farms. I think this whole area just has to be farming. I don't think it's going to be feasible. I am opinion to make it swing around to here, even though this is a cool idea, like to make this a walkway. But then this is, I guess, sort of just farming access. You know, it does. It's not a huge. It's not a huge problem. It's not a huge dealio, really. And then we, we can fit another house here. No problem. Eh. But I think this is going to be non-snap meta. Wait, no, object snap off. Just to give it a little bit of the ramshackle vibes that we like. You know, just a little bit off a little bit off kilter. And we won't fit a third thing in here. But then we can make this a something, you know. We can put a, a little communal area here. Like a couple benches, you know, some nice jazz. It's even a cigarette machine here. Look, this is gross, though. <laughs> Yuck. This is a this is Ron's retreat. It's got to it looks it's got to look real pretty. This actually has to come out a little ways. My surface snap though. So we're gonna run this power down this way. Uh, connectors on switches. Let's get the tall bastards out. Oh, it's, this is an optimistic stretch, but we'll try. <laughs> Very good, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Then boom, and boom. Okay, maybe on this side we'd have a guard post. Because it's got to feel like you're walking in here into into an actual thing. So you're going to have some cool houses upon entry. I think that makes a lot of sense. So, what am I looking for? Def uh, defense. Guard posts. Probably this one because it's a little skinnier. I need to get me old robots. Got to get look and listen back up on the job in here. They died in the explosions, okay? <laughs> Just move on with your lives. Of course, we don't have anyone to man this just yet, or woman this, or, you know, take up the post, it's fine. I ain't gender bias. Look, it's meant to be a retreat, but we're, we're making no assumptions about the state of the Commonwealth. We know it's an evil place, we still need to look after ourselves. You can't be a star, look, you can't actually be a sneak and get through there. <laughs> Alright, we'll fix that. No sneaky clipping in this place. That's pretty cool, right? Now look, I don't care, I'll lose workshop mode. Fight me though. So look, oh look at this beautiful place. And we've got to fix a sign at some point too. We've got to make it say Ron's Retreat. Maybe block this off a little bit more. Make it feel a little more reclusive. But you know, you come down the street. And then BAM! Hello, welcome to the thing. Let me check you in. Oh look at the beautiful houses. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We're running so long over time here. But this is a much better version of the episode than the one I was going to show you. <laughs> Alright. One last thing, and look, I'm not going to lie, this is inspired partially by Ricardo Restate Meta at his channel. But if we go... Structures... SOE... Now, he's been using these ones. Boss and Yangsty, Miscellaneous... Boss Tara Stand, and that's Brotherhood of Steel Tara Stand. But, I'm pretty sure this meta is even lost to him. Far Harbor... No. This is some interesting stuff, though. I should look into looking, using some of this. Uh, I know it's somewhere. Misc structure? There was a wooden version of it somewhere. The same thing. How big is this, though? <laughs> um... USS Constitution, I think, also had it. Yeah, see, they got wooden turret stands. Yeah! Look how saucy they are. All these weird, gross colors, but 100% turrets. Right there. For sure, right? What else would you use it for? You need to look after your people. Come on, baby. It's not going to snap, like I've been saying. Pre existing structures and all that. Ha 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 ha, you what? Listen, that's hot as hell. You know it to be true. Don't know how I'm going to get the turrets up there, but... You know, it's fine. 
And they're not floating, they're not doing anything stupid or dumb. And they've got, in a, in a functional sense, they're going to have a much better view as well, right? Because, now will Surface Snap be a guy? It was being a guy for just a second. Object Snap? Just in case, we'll put both on. It was talking to him momentarily. Boom! We oh, won't even be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh, that's fantastic, yes. Alright, ladies and gents, we're going to leave it here. I'm probably going to linger off camera for a little bit and see if we can get some people to turn up. Um, but this is some real good progress. We actually get an idea for what this place is going to look like. So, as always, your likes and your comments and your thoughts and suggestions are welcome down below. I hope to see you again real soon in the next one. My name's Kluger, and you have a great day.